Welcome to Trappist Nation. My name is Andreas and today we will be reviewing the Achel 8 Plum. On uh, the 22nd January in uh, last year, 2021, uh, the world kind of woke up uh, to the news that the last remaining monk living in the monastery at Achel had left and moved on. Uh, therefore, Achel lost their so-called ATP um, status. Uh, to many, this came as a shock, and there was a lot of question what what would happen to the brewery and to the beer. As it turns out. Not much, uh, since the production have in fact been overseen by the monks at Vestmale for years now. So nothing really changed. It does beg the question though, I mean, which abbey would, would be next? Uh, the dwelling number of monks and the difficulties of recruiting new and younger monks. Uh, how much longer before other abbeys fall in the same fate? Um, who knows? Achel uh, straddles uh, the border of Belgium and the Netherlands, uh, and they opened their first brewery in 1852. However, this beer that I hold in my hand here, uh, the Achel 8 Blonde, didn't see the day of light until 2001. Um, so, how does it taste? Um, let's find out. This is a good kind of a starter trappist, um, a beer that applies to the white public. Um, you get a kind of clear, no nonsense taste of the basic ingredients and, and of uh, hops and malt. And there's uh, something around some of bread with um, some fruity sweet touches with kind of a pear and, and banana. There's kind of a wisp of bitterness in the finish. Um, I mean, it's it's a, it's a simple, but but a nice beer. It's 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 very honest. It's very very straightforward. My verdict: I would give it a three one of a five. All right. Thank you guys, and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.